Welcome to this week's edition of New York Now. I'm Dan Clark. New York and the United States erupted in protest this week after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. As you can see here, those protests stretched from Brooklyn to Buffalo. Most were peaceful, others turned violent and destructive. And while people are split on the tactics of some of the protesters, they've drawn a response from the state's leaders. Here's Governor Cuomo this week. With the issue of the protesters, I share the outrage over not just Mr. Floyd's murder, but what it represents, one in a long string of uh, criminal injustices. It is a metaphor for the systemic racism and injustice that we have seen. And I stand with the protesters in the point that we need meaningful reform. I also believe that change, although often necessary, is very hard to effectuate in society. Uh, I believe this is a moment for national change and national reform. And I think it can be a positive moment for this country, but it has to be done intelligently. And now the legislature is planning a trip back to Albany to pass a package of bills in response. Joining me with details is Josefa Velasquez. She's a reporter with the nonprofit group, The City. Josefa, tell me what we're expecting from the legislature next week. So the legislature is planning to come back on Monday to start taking up a package of bills dealing with criminal justice reforms and more specifically the repeal of 50A, which is a state law that shields uh, police personnel records. And New York is one of the few states that has such a strict law in effect. Um, I'm being told that the law will be repealed, um, not just reformed in the ways that some people have wanted it. Um, and that will open up personnel records for not just police, but also um, firefighters mm. and uh, corrections officers to see what, whether they've done, um, have issues with uh, excessive force or mm. anything to that effect on their records. So if you are repealing 50A, does that mean that people could get these records at any time or would it only be when they're under investigation? So that's a good question. I think we're still trying to figure out the details of that. Um, I've heard that there's supposed to be bills introduced um, tomorrow, which is Friday, uh, and we'll know more details on whether the public will have sort of carte blanche uh, to be able to look at records for whoever, or whether they would have to be accused prior to of some sort of uh, issue in order to get access to those records. Right. This has been a huge issue among criminal justice advocates for the last few years with no traction on it so far. This might be the thing to carry it over the finish line. Josefa Velasquez from the City, a nonprofit news organization. Thank you for bringing us some quick de details here this week on New York Now. Thank you.